a mom was stunned to find herself in a battle to keep the personalized license plate that had adorned her car for 15 years with that incident. The DMV decided there was an issue, calling the message inappropriate. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Wendy Olger, a New Hampshire mom, never thought her personalized license plate would land her in a battle with her state's DMV. After 15 years of having the same vanity plate, she was put on notice when she received a letter from the state of New Hampshire telling her that her personalized plate was being recalled. Wendy had chosen her plate as a little note to her kids, using a phrase she often said to them before their travels. Her vanity plate read, PB4WEGO or P before we go. Something we often told our kids before they got into the car. After having it on her car for a decade and a half without an issue, she was told that her plate could no longer bear the cute message to her children. That's what I tell my kids when we're about to leave to go anywhere, Wendy told Inside Edition, saying that it was an ongoing conversation with her kids over the years. The New Hampshire mom admits that the plates had garnered attention over the years, but she never expected it would become an issue with the state, leaving her fighting to keep it. Almost every time I'm driving, I get people taking pictures of it, people laughing, people weighing, Wendy said. But apparently, the state of New Hampshire didn't find it funny. Instead, the letter they sent telling her it was being recalled and she had 10 days to surrender her plate, cited a ban on plates referring to sexual or excretory acts or functions, Fox News reported. The recall letter gave Wendy the option to choose another vanity plate at no extra cost or have one assigned to her. If she chose to get a regular plate, a portion of her vanity plate fee would be refunded to her, according to the letter, but that still didn't sit well with Wendy. She was pissed. Wendy admitted, no pun intended, I wasn't going down without a fight, she added. She appealed the decision. I'm not a political activist, Wendy said. But this is a non-offensive thing that I've had and it's part of who we are as a family and who I am and there was zero reason for them to take it away. The frustrated mom furthered, who has a mom or a dad or a parental figure who hasn't said that to kids before leaving the house. She asked rhetorically. Luckily, she wasn't the only one who was unhappy about the state's decision. After hearing about Wendy Olger's situation from a mutual friend, the governor of New Hampshire decided to get involved. Upon this being brought to my attention, I reached out to the Division of Motor Vehicles and strongly urged them to allow Wendy to keep the license plate that she has had for the last 15 years, he added in a statement. Thanks to the governor's intervention, the DMV changed the decision and Wendy Auger got to keep her license plate. Yes, it was a relief, she said again, with pun intended, adding that she was stoked to be able to keep her plate according to time. Wendy Olger isn't the only one who's battled the state of New Hampshire and won. In fact, it was a 2014 Supreme Court order case that caused the state to crack down and became more restrictive about what it allowed on vanity plates since a man in that case won the right to have cops lie played a message many would find offensive. While many understand that DMV doesn't want message displayed that could cause a distraction, we realize that what one finds offensive, others may not. The question is how many need to be offended for something to be banned. Just one? That's a dangerous precedent. Some suggest the best course of action is doing away with personalized plates. But what stops someone from putting their message on a bumper sticker? Perhaps the best solution is for the offended to learn to cope with their feelings rather than waste time and resources on trivial issues. Most of us can think of much better things for our local DMV to do than police personalized plates.